I should stay. You know that song? All right, and we're live. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Horrible Trash Movies. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you seriously recording right now? Yes, bubble. We do this every episode. I never know when you're serious. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we're your host. I'm Daddy Warbucks, and I'm Bubblegum Barbie. <laughs> and today, <laughs> today we're doing a uh, first a YouTube platformed short film. A toxic burrito story. All you can eat. How exciting. I know. So we found this because the guy just sent me a, tw uh, a Twitter message. He was like, hey, guys, sorry to just randomly send you a Twitter message, but watch my film. Cool. And I said, you know what? Yeah, what a great way to build some interaction with the Twitter community. If you're listening to this and you want oily trash movies to watch your film that no one's going to see, that you've spent like months or maybe even years of your life on and just like nobody cares about you and you're you, you spend every night crying and wishing that you had an audience yeah True. uh oily trash movies we're here for you at oily trash tweets yeah we are we're here to support if you're a failed actress and um you have some stuff that you want to show us i'm here for you I can relate. <laughs> <laughs> Bubble's been having a psychotic breakdown yeah. all day, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I did a pretty big project and I'm kind of devastated about it. And I'm more mad about it because the, uh, the deadline was extended to a whole other day. And I submitted it and I'm just pissed off because I could have done better. So I'm just crying. I'm just like in the corner rocking back and forth so for all of our for our 750,000 weekly viewers if you're wondering why this week's episode came out late that's why bubble was too busy <laughs> yeah. bombing her audition yeah i was so busy crying i was kermit the frog just staring at the window but you know what that's another reason i wanted to watch this movie today it seems goofy it seems silly this is our first bonus episode since the infamous Super Mario Brothers episode. Oh, yeah. we, do we want to mention that, Eddie, or at least give some context to it? Yeah, that's a crazy film, but it was so much fun. I, again, recommend it. It's crazy. It's a Nazi movie, like how if we're... Nazi dinosaurs. Yeah, well, Nazi dinosaurs. <laughs> if, if war were to say anything. It's a movie that it, it feels like a fever dream, and it still feels like a fever dream. I'm at a moment where, where I I sit down, drink some coffee, and have those days where I think about my life, and then I wonder, did I really watch that Mario movie? Does that really exist? And I look it up, and I see that it does. Yeah, that's what that movie does for me. And if you want to have that feeling, I recommend that. I recommend that film. It's crazy. Yes, if you want to be completely disassociated from reality the Super Mario Brothers movie is the one to do it. I know I was completely disassociated from reality while <laughs> yeah, watching it. And just for some context, I took about four times. I don't know if I could say this on the podcast. I'm doing it anyway. I took maybe, I don't know, four times as much edibles as I probably should have that night. And like the next three times I smoked any pot after that, I literally had flashbacks to that movie. <laughs> I was like, guys, you don't understand. I got way too stoned, and I watched the Mario movie, and it still haunts it's, me. It's, yeah, it's, it's dinosaurs who are Nazis. It marketed at children. I know, I know it's happening again. I'm going down that rabbit hole. I can't. <laughs> I got to move on. I got to move on to this toxic burrito story. I know. So do we know anything about this? <laughs> Uh, let me see if it's on IMBD. Uh, I doubt it, but I am. Um, oh my God! Guess what I did? I went on IMBD and I go and I went on the search and I put I typed IMBD. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Like I. Am. <laughs> I went on the site. <laughs> yeah, IMDb. You searched IMDb on IMDb. Is that yeah. What you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, I did look this movie up beforehand because I didn't know who I was talking to, and I didn't know who made this movie, and I still, I still kind of don't. 
It's made by Flying Eyeball Pictures, and there's a bunch of people involved, but uh, maybe I didn't read enough about them. Ah. Uh. This is the well. This is the cast and crew. Yeah, no. I guess so. Okay, so this is the director, actually, this guy, but I don't know what his name is because at the end of it, he signs it with like his actual signature, and his signature is just like a, a scribble. So yeah. whoever directed this movie, uh, we we want to know who you are. Like I can't read this. Yeah, like comment, comment <laughs> below. <laughs> if you're the director of this movie or know who it is, yeah. let us know. Or if you can read this illegible scribble. <laughs> please decipher it. Yes, please decode it for us because we have no idea what it's, what it's saying. Flying eyeball pictures. There are two versions of this film: a theatrical cut, and then a another cut which is two seconds longer. That's the one that was forwarded to me on Twitter. I believe that's also the one that's linked on AllYouCanEat.com or FlyingEyeball.co.uk. So that's the one we're going to watch. I do like their logo. It's cute. Please send my compliments to the logo design department. So Kieran Reed, that's who the director is, presumably. Yay! That does not... That signature does not look like that name. I do love this type of font. This is my favorite type of font. I used to write this way for a very long time. Our compliments to the fart, <laughs> the font department. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's about burritos. <laughs> Freudian slip. Not bad already. Yeah, a, a seamless transition there. Right. The cinematographer on point. Lighting on point. This feels like a UK film. These are These are British people for sure. Like, you want to come down to my flat? <gasps> Jesus! Pray for me. All right, I like this set. Yeah. I like all these things on this wall. He's got a bunch of interesting stuff behind him. Yeah. I like the camera work. Oh, look at that skull in the background. Ooh. I like that radio guy voice. Look at these auger dishes. Their prop team is pretty good. Like, that's just like a slime jello. I could tell they just had fun. And worked hard on it. It looks good. What is that? A cassette? Does that exist? Do UK people, British people use cassettes? I don't like her waitress outfit, though. Is she a waitress? Yeah. Yeah. I read I read the... She's a waitress. I read the, the description. Aren't you paying attention to my nailed reading? Uh, what's happened? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. I haven't been paying attention. This movie kind of sucks. I'm going to feel oh. bad after we like we call each person involved out by name in the intro. And now we're like, yeah, this shit sucks. We don't like it's only 13 minutes and we don't want to finish it. Uh, all right. You know what? This is this is where the gore starts, though. So let's just this is the, the, we're in the third act of this fucking short film right now. <laughs> Did you record that? Did you record you saying that? Yeah, everything. <laughs> yeah, and we're live. Yeah, we've been live since that bubble. <laughs> yeah, uh, so first, all right, you know what? It's, gee, all right, it's five. Listen, this isn't like cryo where we had a full hour. This is, it's five minutes. Let's just grind through it. This is the, this is the third act. And then we'll, we'll explain what we didn't like and did like. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. And here's where she's getting sprayed with guacamole. Acid guacamole. Mm. I'm like eating right now and I'm kind of getting grossed out by that burrito. <laughs> <laughs> the oily trash burrito. Yeah. So fun fact about me, I don't like burritos. I refuse to eat them and this grosses me out so much. Like I already hate burritos. Naturally. This is like times 10. I don't understand what's happening. I'm lost. She's just screaming in slow motion. Oh my god, this is too long. This is like filler. Yeah, and we can't even show any of this because that music is almost certainly going to get us copyright strikes. Yeah. I'm just going to We're not going to have any volume in this movie at all. For those of you who didn't just see this, that woman 
basically was screaming. Or like an eternity. It was as though she were delivering the last syllable of the national anthem at a Super Bowl. Yeah, that's true. Ew, is this burrito juice? Gross. No, I, th- I think it's human viscera. Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. I really hate burritos. I love how this is triggering some sort of deep-seated fear of burritos. I now. hate burritos. They gross me out so bad. Ew, gross nails. Oh, wow, that's a cool shot. Yeah, not bad. I love how he, like, really, the actor really, like, delivered that, like, here is the cassette. I have it in my hands. Ah. But who was that guy? (laughs) What the heck happened in this movie? I was gone for, like, half of it. Ah, somebody got eaten by burritos. Okay, so I didn't like this movie. Yeah, I don't like it either. I wasn't paying attention to the plot. What I didn't like about it is that the actress... But, like, delivered the entire... She's the only one who spoke besides the radio guy. I did like him. I did pay attention to what he said. Name name one thing that he said, if you were paying attention to him. He was, like, saying a bunch of fancy words. A bunch of, like, fancy smart words, which I always listen to. Because I'm like, oh, smart guy. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, 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 ah. um, but no, I, I can't recall because I'm drinking... <laughs> okay, Bubble. It's not that you're drinking. I'm, I'm, I'm tipsy right now. No, literally. No, this is like for real. Uh, I didn't like this movie because I find myself asking, like, what was the point? What was the fucking point of that? Like, why even have a, <laughs> why have a story? Why have why have anybody say anything? What uh, there was there was nothing of any note that occurred in this movie. Like, she was talking about this story about some guy who was hitting on her at one point. She was talking on a phone, but she didn't have her headphones in, and we couldn't hear half of it. Nothing. There was no resolution. There was no uh, denouement. She just got eaten, and then somebody recovered. So I guess maybe the cassette was some sort of MacGuffin or some sort of... That was the stakes? Was that the stakes in this burrito, guys? I did like the Jesus. The Jesus is cool. The set was nice. We we talked about yeah. the set. Jesus beads, heck yeah, worth it. Because I do like it. I did like the set. I like the lighting. I liked the the uh, pro the the effects of it. I liked the 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 way it was filmed. The wardrobe, eh, whatever. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. Like I didn't like the one character that we saw the most. I hated her outfit. That's, like, a personal choice, though. Just because I see how beautiful she is, and it's just too big and too unattractive for her. But maybe that's the point. Maybe it's a diner. Like, it's just kind of uh, the UK of, uh, what is it called? The Waffle House or whatever type of restaurant. Well, that's, you know what? I believe, in fact, before I watched this, I the reason I wanted to watch this is because I watched some of this trailer here. And Mm -hmm. it's set up as though it's an old school, you know, it's got it's got flickering and film grain. And, I'm, you know, it takes place in a diner. And I'm like, okay, this is a uh, a movie that is going to be stylized as though it's from the Mm -hmm. 80s, like a cheap 80s movie. It's going to be taking place in the 80s. And then I watch it and even look, they have a rotary phone in here and they're listening Mm -hmm. to a cassette, which is like, okay, I really believe that this was taking place in the 80s. And then she's suddenly talking on a big, giant iPhone Mega Plus. That didn't fit at all. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know anything about this movie. I've been crying the whole time. And you were like, do you want to watch a short film? And I was like, yeah. (laughs) So that's how I went in. I don't like this movie because I don't like burritos. It made me uncomfortable. And I think because, too, like, it gives, like, kind of, like, especially seeing that one guy, the scene that I didn't see of that dude being eaten by the burrito, it kind of looked like a dick, you know? Um, it did. Which, which I'm sure is kind of doing the, the Alien. aliens. Yeah. I, I don't know about that. I don't know. Uh, you know, it may be so, because then, like, the Maybe. whole second half of the chase scene, it's, like, running at her panties. Yeah, see? 
the 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 burrito was dicks. They're all dicks. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is a movie about burrito dicks. I'm too stoned for this. <laughs> I agree with you. I'm too drunk for this. I agree with you. It is. Uh, and I, that makes me uncomfortable. Not the dick part, but the burrito part. I hated that. The re- I think the reason you don't like burritos is because subconsciously you associate them with phallic imagery. No, no, no. Ugh, gross. No, I, the reason I hate burritos is I don't like the, the, the soggy, sogginess of like, I don't like the tortilla. I don't like those type of tortillas that they wrap it with. I hate it. I don't ask for wraps. I hate wraps. I I hate that type of tortilla. You like naked burritos? Yeah, I like I like uh, what's that restaurant that Chipotle that you just throw some? Mm hmm. I will eat that like no tomorrow. Why? I'll go into town, put it in a burrito form. No, thank you. All right. So I did like the burn that was on her arm there. And yeah. I mean, like, this is obviously where our, our thumbnail is coming from. But obviously, I, there was a close up, and I swear that it, she had Jesus panties on. No way. That would be dope. I want Jesus. It's Virgin oh! Mary, like a virgin. Ew. Okay, so this movie has some sort of weird sexual theme. It's. Yeah, okay. Like a. V- 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 what did that say? Like it a said, virgin? like a virgin, and it was the Virgin Mary. So these uh, burritos are ripping her. Oh no! Yeah. I, I I probably have to censor. I probably can't use that word. No, you can't say that. You could bleep it out. So I don't know. Maybe there's some sort of deeper meaning in this movie. Mm-hmm. We're just too stoned and too tipsy to Possibly. read it. It is. I give this. I'm thinking. I, I'm thinking maybe just six buckets of oil. The casting was okay. Uh, Jeepers, it's better than Jeepers Creepers. I want to rate it at like a four. Four buckets of oil. Yeah, four buckets of oil. Uh, I did like this scene, the whole fingernail thing, and I'm sure that triggers people as well. Like Fingernails were so, so gross. gross. Some, like, when she was just viscera, the viscera looked pretty gross. It did. The burritos, I don't think, looked that good. I don't know why this movie was made, really. I don't know what... I don't know why it exists. Because because it was a... It, it, it has a sexual meaning to it. That's why this movie was made. All right. How would you fix this movie, aside from casting English uh, American people? I would make it a silent film. Completely a visual film, because the cast... The crew, sorry. The crew was capable of doing a silent film it was so beautifully done lighting all that stuff away from the cast it was wonderfully done it is a 10 in my viewpoint if i just remove the cast and if they made it silent it would have been great (laughs) okay that's how you fix this movie is all of the actors and actresses just don't even say anything exactly just keep keep your mouths closed the entire time uh but I, i see what you're saying yeah because uh, we were talking about the director. I, I don't know what we were talking about, but just the way that a lot of the scenes are shot. Now, some of them, when it's just the flashlight moving across the grass, that I don't buy so much. Uh, when he was walking away into the distance and they kept cutting from our waitress to the trash guy just getting further and further in the dark, uh, that effect... It didn't seem right to me. Something about the way that was edited together. Mm. I would just have a shot of her talking on the phone and then a shot of him walking away with the trash shop. I don't know why those were cut back and forth like that because the passage of time seemed broken in that sequence. All right, let's just wrap this up because now we're just, now it's just getting <laughs> mean and mean-spirited. We love you guys. I'm glad you made this movie about flying meatballs or whatever the hell it is. This casting crew is casting crew is a thousand times better than me. I'm just someone who like is on oily trash movies, who sits here and talks about film saying making. unfunny things the entire time. <laughs> That's right. With with one 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 k followers, <laughs> the amount of blood was a lot of fun. I'm sure they had so much fun on this set. I mean, I would. I'm like, heck yeah, put more blood in me. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, act like you're choking down this burrito dick. (laughs) 
<laughs> you know, that's what was missing. Rather than her, like, screaming, like, the burrito is going in her. Like, that would have oh been God. very eerie. And specifically, the message that we think it's trying to say, that would have bumped it up to very uncomfortable. And I personally would have hated it because I despise burritos. Bubble wants to see full burrito penetration in the follow-up sequel to this film. <laughs> when this gets extended into a feature-length film, because that's probably that's really uh, maybe the motivation here. Yeah, like this is a proof of concept. Let's film this and see if there's interest. Like this is the crew that we. This is what we can put together, and then you pitch it to a, a studio or a producer for funding. I like the idea. I, obviously, I keep saying how uncomfortable I am with a burrito, you know, like, the, and the fact that a burrito is somewhat shaped like a penis, you know, like, if it's trying to be like aliens, I like this idea. Um, I think it has potential there. I would just probably, I think it needs a little more funding in order for it to be good. And I think they could make this short film into a 30 minute film or... 92 minutes if you really liked and I would totally watch something like this uh, the writing how did you feel about the writing well that's that was my biggest complaint you know what I am reading here uh, okay god damn I, we should have read this so all you can eat began life as a proof of concept exercise it was originally a snippet of a scene extracted from a feature length strip uh, script like anything that is plucked out of context the snippet that would become all you can eat needed a bit of further development of its own to enable it to stand up on its own merits as a short narrative film, which is what I've been bitching about the whole time. This is, I guess, what you would call a vertical slice. Mm -hmm. It does feel that way. Just to demonstrate. And so if that's the case, uh, this actually isn't that bad. Not Knowing that this is just to demonstrate your ability to put together a shot and have a set built that's visually interesting... And some of the effects work, which I think we did both kind of like the effects work. Uh, the effects work. I did. Uh, now that I know that this is not supposed to be a complete narrative, I I think it does it does sort of succeed in showing the capabilities of a lot of talented people that were involved with this. Uh, the I think the messaging of this quote short film is is bad because this really isn't if this isn't something that stands on its own as a short narrative then i feel like it's disingenuous to call this a short film because this isn't a short film it's not a film it's just essentially a tech demo um i would disagree with you this does feel like a short film and i actually for the amount of short films that i have seen i think it is really well done i have seen pretty bad short films i have been part of really bad short films and this was technically done really good which made it appealing but again it's a short film and it, it has potential and i think it deserves to have a full length because there is something there well apparently this is going to be extended into a feature uh, in which case, uh, maybe we should just reserve most of our uh, our final opinions on it until we do see the full movie. Would you watch the full movie? Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. Because I would like to be proven wrong by the actress of saying, no, look, I am fantastic. You know, like, I would totally... That's, like, my favorite thing is to be proven wrong by how amazing anything can be done with... The amount that it needs to be done and the I direction like I think I don't know it's hard to say I a direction does play a long way I don't know so much about the the director himself if he even knows how to direct actors that is always a huge issue sometimes in some of the the things like when you see actors it's not necessarily like they're bad actors or the best example is the new Peter Pan movie, the Peter Pan and mm -hmm. Wendy, I did watch some of it, but I ended up being bored simply because Peter Pan seemed like he was in the background and the director kind of 
put him in the background like he was treated like an extra and there was reviews of people saying he was a bad actor kid but really I saw that I think the director wasn't focused on Peter Pan but Wendy so he directed more Wendy the actress than Peter Pan all right, all right. I'm cutting you off. This, given the you're potential. just going on and on because you don't <laughs> want to wrap this episode up because as soon as you do, you have to go back to editing. Yeah, no, I don't want to edit. I'm just going to take a break and I'm going to go cry. And then uh, I need to like detox from burrito horror that I just witnessed. I mean, that's what I love about this short film is that I did feel uncomfortable. So there's potential there. That's what I'm saying. There if is... The audience has a very mm -hmm. specific fear of burritos. They're going to get something yes. out of this movie. There, I, yeah, most definitely. And I like the idea. It's so funny. And I love this type of things. I do like this. This is in its, in its own... Or Matt, it All is right. art. All right. Yes, the film has some, like, whatever, but it's just fun. It is exciting. And... Listen, you know what this, <laughs> you know what this movie needed to do? What? At one point, it squirted green juice on her, like acid. Right. And I'm like, oh, it's like guacamole. Mm -hmm. They should have been squirting sour cream. Mm, oh my gosh, yes. That would have really upped it up a notch. And then choking on the burrito where she's like running away and all of a sudden they're like, yeah, <laughs> that is very alien-esque. Some of it like hits her in the eye oh, and she goes blind. She's uh, like, it burns. Yeah, ah. there's so much potential in this and making people uncomfortable. Like Alien is the best example. I recommend the director going and watching Alien again, taking notes. I'm sure the director has seen Alien Bubble. You're just being insulting <laughs> now at this point. You know, like, yeah, I, I'm sure. But I think he could really just, I think he was trying to be very reserved. And the acting, I probably would. All right, all right. You're just repeating yourself over and over again at this point. Yeah, yeah, because I'm drinking. All right, clearly. Uh, I, I say what you do, you ham it up a bit. You lean into the dick jokes. You make it goofy and stupid. Like, you have someone come up and it's like, what? why is there sour cream sprayed everywhere in here? You know, have some jokes. Have some fun with it. Uh, that's all. I don't know. It's it, it seems like it's trying to be way too serious here at the end when it's about... Mm. And that's all I have to say. No, we're not talking anymore about this no, movie. No, you, you do uh, have a point. Thank you. Make sure to <laughs> like and subscribe. Take care. Comb your hair. You do You've have been a point. Only trash movies. You do have okay, a point. Right. It does take it way too seriously. Have more fun with it. And remember to mace directly in the face. Bye. Bye.